Spider-Verse and the Multiverse of Peter Parker's Explained. What's up, y'all? We are taking your Marvel questions. That's right, Langston, and this one asks, what is the Spider-Verse and what's the deal with all these Peter Parkers? Well, yes, it's a great question, so let's break it down. We have the Marvel Multiverse. It's all of these various realities across all of space and time containing various versions of your favorite Marvel characters. But within that multiverse, there is the Spider-Verse because all the spider people are tied together by what is known as the Great Web. And this Great Web is overseen by the perfectly named Master Weaver who literally binds together the fate of all these spider people and also tracks their whereabouts within the greater multiverse, which is great if you need some spider reinforcements from another universe or wanna hang out with a spider pal on the weekend, but not so great if that info falls into the hands of supervillains. Also great for ordering a spider pizza. Ooh, that sounds great, but do you put spider pineapple on it? The only real question. How dare you, Lorraine? Oh, it's so good, I love it. Nom, 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 nom. Go home. So if this falls into the wrong hands, like someone who wants to put pineapple on pizza, then you don't worry, all the spider people, they converge, they come together to the 616, which is the main Marvel universe, and they've formed the Web Warriors, which is a super cool club. At the heart of all this is Peter Parker. Our Peter Parker, Spider-Man, is the first, arguably the greatest, but also, very importantly, he is the only one out of all these spider people who was able to defeat Morlin the Energy Vampire. But it's not just a Peter Parker story. We get so many great characters. And a lot of them were actually introduced in Spider-Verse. And some of them became like huge stars right away. Maybe you know about Ghost Spider, AKA Spider-Gwen. How about Spider, AKA Penny Parker and her robot armor? Or one of my personal favorites, Spider-Punk. And there's tons more that were introduced in this story. And on top of introducing us to all these new characters, we got to see a whole slew of classic, amazing, wonderful, spectacular Spider characters, such as Miles Morales, Scarlet Spider, Spider-Man Noir from the 1930s, Captain Universe Spidey, Spider-Woman, Spider-Girls, plural, Silk, Spider-Ham, Japanese Spider-Man, along with Leopardon. It's like all the Spideys. Give me Spider-Man or give me death. <laughs> well, I, I, I like to think about, imagine roll call. Imagine everybody getting together. Who has to go through that whole stack of <laughs> spider names? But they need all of those spider people because this threat is so epic. You know, as you said, Ryan, Peter Parker is the only spider person to ever beat Morlin, who is one of the bum, 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 the inheritors. It's a whole family of spider eating energy vampires. And guess what? They got a little tip on the great web and they can hunt down every spider person for a snack. And yes, there are a ton of spider people that are all different from across the multiverse, but there are also a boatload of Peter Parkers. There is Peter Parker, not only from the main Marvel universe today, but his younger self from earlier in his timeline. We have a cartoon Peter Parker from the 1960s. We have the superior Spider-Man who's really Doc Ock in Peter's body. Uh, we even got a Peter Parker from the ding dang moon. There are more Peter Parkers than you could possibly shake a stick at. And thank goodness, because the inheritors are hangry. Yes, they are hangry. You know what they're not hangry for? Pineapple on anything. Pizzas, spiders, people with spider powers, people with pizza powers. Oh, well, I think we can really take away from today that pineapple is the truest enemy. <laughs> and of course, if you want to read up on the Spider-Verse, you can go check out all of those awesome comics on Marvel Unlimited, the subscription service that gives you access to like 28,000 comics and counting. Check it out at marvel.com slash unlimited. If you have a burning Marvel question, we want to answer that. Please let us know with that hashtag, Marvel Questions. Yeah, we'll see you next time. I'm Lorraine. I'm Langston. I'm Ryan. And this is Marvel. Your, Your universe. universe. Thanks for watching Earth's Mightiest Show. If you like this, like this, leave us a comment, and subscribe to the Marvel channel. Then ding that bell to get updates about new episodes. Click that box over there to watch us answer more of your questions. But if you were a spider person, what would you be? Spider sloth. Just chill. Psst.